हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन राइट इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अल्कोहल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन ऑफ फिनॉल सो टुडे आर टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन ऑफ फिनॉल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन ओके सो दिस इज फिनॉल ओ एच ग्रुप ऑन द बेंजीन रिंग ओ एच ग्रुप ऑन द बेंजीन रिंग इज नोन एज फिनॉल ओके सो दिस इज फिनॉल नाउ इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन which means there will be electrophile electrophile means electron philic electron attracting and electron attracting group is there then it should have positive charge the electrophile will substitute hydrogen or proton from the benzene ring of phenol so if electrophile can replace hydrogen that is known as electrophilic substitution so there is substitution of hydrogen of phenol by an electrophile so that is known as electrophilic substitution okay now now we are going to discuss some of the reactions of electrophilic substitution okay first reaction is first reaction is nitration nitration so first electrophilic substitution reaction is nitration okay now we already know that whenever there is reaction of nitration we use hno3 because hno3 nitric acid can provide nitro group and addition of nitro group is known as nitration so here we are using dilute hno3 now we also know that there are two types of groups there are two types of substituent so first substituent can be it can be ortho para directing or it can be meta directing that we have studied in standard 11 right so oh group is ortho para directing that is already discussed in previous video right as we have seen the resonance structure of phenol you might have noticed that at ortho and para para position there is more electron density resonance structure of phenol is already discussed in previous video but i would like to remind you that the in resonance structure of phenol there is more electron density at ortho and para position which means oh group is ortho para directing now what does it mean which means that the second substituent will enter at ortho and para position so if we are performing nitration then we are adding nitro group there is substitution of hydrogen or proton by nitro group then nitro group will come at ortho and para position so we will get two products ortho nitro phenol so this is ortho nitro phenol ortho nitro phenol okay this is phenol and as second product will be para nitro phenol so para nitro phenol is this this is para nitro phenol so nitro group will come at ortho position and nitro group will come at para position so this is para nitro phenol para nitro phenol okay now in the reaction mixture there will be mixture of ortho nitro phenol and para nitro phenol now if we want to separate these two products then we, then we can separate it easily because there is difference in their volatility volatility means means conversion of liquid into gaseous form so ortho nitro phenol is less volatile sorry it is more volatile whereas para nitro phenol is less volatile okay i am saying that 
ऑर्थोनाइट्रोफिनॉल इज मोर वॉलेटाइल विच मीन्स इट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू पेपर फॉर्म इजिली इट कैन बी डिस्टिल्ड इजिली इट कैन बी कन्वर्ट इन टू गैसियस फॉर्म इजिली वेर एज पैरानाइट्रोफिनॉल इज नॉट दैट वॉलेटाइल कम्पेयर टू ऑर्थोनाइट्रोफिनॉल विच मीन्स पैरानाइट्रोफिनॉल कैन नॉट बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू पेपर फॉर्म इजिली बट so there is instead of dilute hno3 see here we have used dilute hno3 so we are getting two products orthonitrophenol and paranitrophenol but instead of dilute hno3 if we use concentrated hno3 concentrated hno3 then we get we will get only one products so the reaction of phenol with concentrated hno3 will produce one product that is 246 trinitrophenol again reaction of phenol with concentrated hno3 will form 246 trinitro trinitrophenol 246 trinitro phenol and the common name of this compound is picric acid picric acid okay this process for producing picric acid is nowadays replaced by another technique nowadays phenol reacts with sulfuric acid it will form 2,4 disulfonic phenol then again that 2,4 disulfonic phenol will react with concentrated hno3 and it will form 2,4,6 trinitrophenol that is picric acid okay so please remember the structure of picric acid in exam they may ask write the preparation of picric acid or convert phenol into picric acid so this is very important reaction please remember this reaction phenol reacts with concentrated hno3 and it will form 2,4,6 trinitrophenol and that is picric acid the reaction of phenol with dilute acid occurs at low temperature around 273 kelvin temperature okay now now we'll discuss another reaction another electrophilic substitution reaction that is halogenation halogenation okay halogenation is addition of halogen right so normally halogenation occurs in presence of febr3 or fecl3 which is lewis acid but phenol reacts with halogen let's say bro bromine is there that is bromination in presence of carbon disulfide or chloroform which is less polar solvent which is less polar solvent then this bromine can be added at ortho position and para position okay so this phenol reacts with bromine in presence of carbon disulfide or chloroform carbon disulfide and chloroform is less polar solvent so in presence of less polar solvent we will get to two products that is ortho bromo phenol and second product is para bromo phenol para bromo phenol okay normally chlorination bromination or halogenation occurs in presence of fecl3 or febr3 which is lewis acid right because that particular reagent is useful for any reaction but in case of phenol which is self activated because of resonance at ortho and para position so we don't need fecl3 or febr3 for the reaction of bromination or chlorination or halogenation for phenol right but if phenol reacts with bromine water so if we use bromine water bromine water then we will get 246 tribromophenol 
four, six. So that is two, four, six tri bromophenol. That is two, four, six tri bromophenol. So phenol reacts with bromine water and it will form two, four, six tri bromophenol. If phenol reacts with bromine in presence of less polar solvent like CH2 or CHCl3 that is chloroform, it will form orthobromophenol and parabromophenol. Okay, so this is electrophilic substitution of phenol. Phenols, which can be thought of as substituted benzenes, can undergo electrophilic aromatic substitutions. The hydroxyl group of phenols tends to make the ring more likely to undergo substitution. The hydroxyl group activates the ring to substitution. Phenols undergo these substitution reactions more readily than benzene. The hydroxyl group of phenols tend to direct further substitutions of the aromatic ring to the ortho and para positions, that is, two and four positions. The hydroxyl group is ortho para directing because the resonance structures of phenols make the ortho and para positions electron rich. Notice in the resonance structure shown that the ortho and para positions have extra electron density at those positions. Let's learn about some important substitution reactions of phenols, starting with nitration. If you react phenols with dilute nitric acid at low temperatures, a mixture of ortho and para nitrophenols will be produced. The two isomers of nitrophenol have different physical properties. As the illustration shows, ortho nitrophenol can participate in intramolecular hydrogen bonds. The para isomer can participate in hydrogen bonds between molecules. The intermolecular hydrogen bonds hold the para nitrophenol molecules together. The different hydrogen bond arrangements have important effects on the physical properties. Since the ortho isomer has only intramolecular hydrogen bonding, it has weaker intermolecular attractions than the para isomer with its intermolecular hydrogen bonds. Therefore, ortho nitrophenol is more volatile with a lower boiling point than para nitrophenol with a higher boiling point. We can use the difference in their boiling points to separate the isomers by steam distillation. Orthonitrophenol is steam volatile, but paranitrophenol is not. The outcome of nitration of phenol varies with the reaction conditions. When a phenol reacts with concentrated nitric acid, the reaction produces 2, 4, 6 trinitrophenol, commonly known as picric acid. This reaction occurs in low yield. Picric acid is a stronger acid than phenol because of the presence of three electron withdrawing nitro groups, which facilitate the release of hydrogen ion. It is explosive and was formerly used in artillery and munitions. Picric acid in the laboratory must be stored wet, else explosive metal picrates may form. It is used in several forensic applications. Chemical synthesis and gram staining in biology. Another synthetic route with improved yield has also been developed for the synthesis of picric acid from phenol. In the first step of this process, 
Phenol is reacted with concentrated sulfuric acid to form phenol 2,4 disulfonic acid. In the second step, phenol 2,4 disulfonic acid is reacted with concentrated nitric acid to form picric acid. Phenol also undergoes halogenation reactions. The reaction of phenol with bromine gives different products depending on the reaction conditions. Let's look at this in more detail. If phenol is treated with bromine in low polarity solvents such as chloroform or carbon disulfide at room temperature monobromophenols are produced. Unlike benzene, no Lewis acid is needed for this reaction to occur because phenol is much more reactive than benzene. Both ortho and para isomers 